The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. This is Physics 2048, uh, Exam 2 from Fall of 2010. I will be doing question number 2 to start with. Question number 2 states, an object is constrained by a cord to move in a circular path of radius 0.5 meters on a horizontal frictionless surface. The cord will break if its tension exceeds 16 newtons. The maximum kinetic energy of the object can have is what? Okay, so it's on a table, it's frictionless, and it's moving around in a circle. It has this tension to keep it in. The tension is what keeps it in the circle. Now, if you understand what, what centripetal force is, centripetal force is what also keeps it in the circle. Okay, That's the force that keeps it moving around in the circle that has this centripetal acceleration. Okay, So we, now we know that tension is the centripetal force. And the equation for centripetal force is Fc equals to mv squared over R. Okay? So, we start out with that. We, now, that's an equation that we know we have to use. The givens that, we're, that we have are, it has a radius of 0 0.5 meters. Okay? 0 0.5 meters radius. And then the uh, tension will break if it exceeds 16 newtons. Okay? So, tension is equal to 16 newtons. All right. So with the tension at its max, that's when the kinetic energy will be at its max. So now that we know the max tension, we can find, we can use that and this to then find the max kinetic energy. That's what we're trying to find. The formula for that is 1 half mv squared 1 half mv squared. Do you notice there's a similarity? mv squared, mv squared. This has a 1 half, this has over r. Okay? So, we're just going to have to manipulate things a little bit. Alright, so we know that 16 newtons is the tension. And the tension is what the centripetal force is. Centripetal force and tension are the same thing. So 16 newtons equals to 1 half mv squared over r. Now we know what R is, so let's just go ahead and put that in there. R is 0 0.5 meters. Okay? So now let's find out what mv squared is by multiplying. So now we know 8 newtons is equal to mv squared. Okay? mv squared, mv squared. Let's go ahead and plug this in to then find what the max kinetic energy is. Okay? So, kinetic energy max is equal to 1 half mv squared, plug it in, 8 newtons, 8, okay? So this is going to be equal, kinetic energy is in joules, so it's 1 half of 8, 4 joules, alright? That is your correct answer. You have to realize that centripetal force is the tension, so you use this relation to find this, this uh, set of variables to then substitute in the kinetic energy. You have to be able to see all these equations and how they relate. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.